guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Compact Garage. Today's episode, we're going to do the uh, tires on the Kubota, and we're going to slam the battery in the F-250. This is the video y'all have been waiting for. Cut! What? You said I got to pick the next project. Mm. I told my viewers last video that we were putting, putting tires on the Kubota and working on the F-250. What do you have? No, 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 that's not what we're doing, dude. <laughs> Today, folks, we are building a mini one. Now, this is the video they want. Goodness, not again. Yep, yep. Where the heck did you get this thing? Amazon. Yeah, pronounce that. Man, that's kind of impossible. But uh, yeah, Chinese bikes on Amazon is my new favorite hobby. So. Oryx Surf? Oryx? Classic mini bike. This is a classic? Something tells me it's uh, the fact that uh, <laughs> this is oh, going to be no. awesome. This is, uh, this is about to be uh, real tiny. I did buy a new, so. Why would you do that? Um, I'm only 40 pounds over the max weight. So the max limit's 200. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I get to run box in a great earth <laughs> classic mini bike. It's classic mini bike today, boys. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. How many times is this going to happen? It's <laughs> many times it takes. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're here with uh, Moped Mischief. It's me. I think it should be uh, Moped Addiction. <laughs> He's got a problem. I, I do tend to make horrible financial mistakes. For those of you guys who haven't seen his channel, you should really check it out. We have a lot of collaboration videos already done on that channel. We did? Do you have a knife to open this thing? No. Mm. Do you have a chainsaw? I mean, I do, but here's a screwdriver. I, was, I feel like you could find a little happy medium between. <laughs> <laughs> Between a plug and a chainsaw. <laughs> Alright, well you go ahead and get this all uh, unboxed here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this tractor. Sounds like a plan, because we're not doing the video you planned on doing. I see styrofoam, I see instructions. So what, did I just start unboxing this? Yeah, yeah, let me do this. Stop! Uh, oil required. Oh. Mini bike is shipped without motor oil. Ah. Fill crankcase with 10W30. I don't know if I have it here. We might get gear oil or 15. Well, I, I didn't know uh, what all we were going to need, so I figured that uh, we kind of figured that out as we went. You know what might be easier here? Yeah, I was kind of thinking about this. Guys, this is bad. Oh, dude. Dude. This is real bad. <laughs> I, I guess the uh, pegs that I stand on are like... They're right there. Right here. Tied up. Yeah, so I'm going to be like... <laughs> Let me bring these guys in here closer and show you what's up. Okay, so there's more styrofoam here than there is bike. And there's a lot more cardboard than there is plastic, so... It's not too bad. What we have here is just a little, what is that? Chinese, German? Sure. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, dude. I, uh, you know, I, I, I purchased this thing um, about 12 minutes after I went on Amazon. Wow, it's got a nice up disc brake bike. on the rear. Look at that. Yeah. It's got a nice disc brake. I wouldn't say nice. We have not tested any of this yet. The tires are tiny. I'm saying by looks. How much was this? $600.
to put this together? I don't know. I'm just winging it. Yeah, we've got some spacers, got some bolts. Executive decision. Well, my viewers didn't even know this is the video they wanted, but yet they got it. Oh, they wanted this, trust me. Yep. We just gassed it up, guys. It's got gas, it's got oil. Is there any reason why this should not start up? Uh, it's Chinese. <laughs> German, it's German. We don't, we don't really know what it is. I need to. Okay. Uh, what was that for? Great. Uh, oh, she's out of there. done ripping this thing around the yard. If you want to see more in depth of the riding, go ahead and check out Moped Mischief. He's got the hook. Yeah, I got a, I got a channel with like all the video. All stuff on build. With our riding, for, like the build process and all that stuff. Fuck out. Alright guys, here's my opinions about this bike. Mm. <clears throat> then then we can get a opinion on a McChicken after. <laughs> oh, there we go. It, it rides pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, picture a steel I beam with a couple caster wheels underneath it. Go kart. A steel I beam with a couple caster wheels it's underneath it. It's like a go kart. This is it. No. 
it's stiff whenever you're riding it. It really is stiff. But that's probably because I'm like 50 pounds over the limit. What's the limit? Uh, 170. Okay, I'm like 60 pounds over the limit. <laughs> it's terrible on inclines. It, it, it's really, really slow starting off. Picture a go-kart. That's what it rides like starting off. But this thing is kind of reliable. I don't know what engine's underneath this, but almost every single time it starts right up. It's ready? Mm -hmm. It runs. It runs good. One more piece of one. $600 shipped to your door. That's not a bad gig. 25 minutes of assembly. We goofed around. You could do it faster. You could have yourself a nice little ride machine for your kids or some of you smaller adults out there. Oh yeah, dude, this is perfect. If you guys want to see a more in-depth review, Moped Mischief will be posting a video uh, shortly. I really want to want to break it in before I go out there and leave a review. I think that uh, this time we uh, we really beat the crap out of it in New York. I'm down with that. And then um, once we go through several tanks of gas, then we do an honest review. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I'm about to leave you guys an honest review on the chickens. Don't be waiting for that. Those of you guys that like this content, you want to see more of it, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe, and make sure to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of these impulse purchases. Even though this wasn't an impulse purchase, he spent the whole 11 minutes researching it before he hit that buy now. It's kind of incredible what you can buy on Amazon nowadays, so we'll, you're just going to have to stay tuned and find out what else we find on there. Maybe there's a snowmobile, belt. Maybe a little quad, maybe. I don't know. We'll find something with an engine on it. Maybe a couple tires, four tires, who knows? One tire. They have a gas powered unicycle. Hey, does anybody know if they have a gas powered unicycle? I'm gonna find one. Go find one. All right, until then, guys, keep on wrenching.